lovelies, it's Erica with the Beauty Buff and welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy a channel full of beauty, fashion, and lifestyle, then this could be the channel for you. I need you to subscribe below, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos, and then give me a thumbs up if you like this video at the end. Or if you like beauty and fashion, give me a thumbs up. On this channel, we like to relax and just let loose and get away from the everyday grind. So if you will with me, take in a good deep breath, exhale, and let's get to this video. I'm just gonna be doing a quick get ready with me I just purchased some new products so I'm gonna go over me using those products and putting them in action and then I'll do a little roundup at the end to let you know how I felt about those products so I'm just gonna be using some new and products that I've recently purchased from Ulta Sephora and from Sydney Grace I'm just gonna start out priming my face and then all of this stuff here is old. This is just matte prep and prime. I just use it in my T-zone to tighten my pores up and also to help with my oils. I do have a visitor here, so we have like a third party intruding on this video. So I'm just going to start off with my eyebrows. And I will run through this quickly because I know mostly everybody knows how to do their brows by now. I'm just using the Anastasia Ebony Brow Powder. And I first use the pencil. I use the Benefit Precisely My Brow. This is in the color, it's in the color four. To clean under my brows, I'm just gonna be using the Anastasia Concealer in 4.5. So brows look decent. Just gonna moisturize my lips using the Fenty Beauty. And it's Tint Tint Luscious Lip Balm. Just gonna use a little bit more primer to prime my face just to fill in my pores. And this is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. I'm just gonna prime my eyes with this NARS concealer and it's in caramel or caramel, however you say it. And this is just to cover up the veins that are in my eyes and then also to give the shadow something to stick to. All right, now that my eyes are primed, I'm gonna go in with this Tiny Marvel eyeshadow palette again by Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson. And the colors look like and I think I'm gonna do a peachy look. So let's see what I can come up with. I'm gonna be going in first with tree hopper in my transition. And I salute Mel for loving bugs because I am not a bug lover. I don't like any type of insect, especially spiders. I had to stay in the hospital a week one time from cellulitis. A spider had bit me and it got infected. So I had to get IV antibiotics and it was during like the Thanksgiving break. So I didn't get to go home for the holidays that year. It was awful. So ever since then, spiders have been on my hit list. I am not fond of them at all. 
All right, so that's Tree Hopper in my transition. And then I'm gonna go with Flutter By right here in my crease. Very pretty color, like a peachy color, peachy pink. Just gonna take my time and build it up. It has really good color payoff though. Blend, blend, blend. Windshield wiper motions. And just build it up little by little until you get the color payoff that you're looking for. And I'm just doing a simple eye look today something kind of natural, but of course with a little sparkle. So that's Flutter By in my crease. Blend it out really well. It's not patchy at all. And then I'm gonna use Metal Hawk on my lid. It's kind of like a peachy pink shimmer. Kind of reminds me of Orgasm, the blush by NARS, but just a little bit more sparkly. I'm gonna try it first without wetting the brush. That's it without wetting the brush, it's pretty. So I used the color Scarab in my previous eye look. I used it with wetting the brush and without wetting the brush and I actually didn't like it when I wet the brush. I'm not sure if it had mixed in with the primer that I had on my eyes or what, but it became very like crepey and kind of patchy. Seemed like it was coming off the more I tried to put it on. So I had to redo that eyelid, both eyelids. I had to wipe it off and kind of put it back on. I had to, you know, replace the concealer and then put the shadow back on. So this is without wetting it. And then I'm gonna try this one wetting the brush and then see how, if that happens again. So I'm just gonna use this Wet n Wild Primer Water Spray to wet my brush. And it made it a little more intense. So that's with wetting the brush. So I'm just gonna go back in and blend around the crease again. And then that'll be it for the eye look. Really simple, I use three colors, but I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna finish up my face and then I'll come back and do my under eyes. I'm gonna use my Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And this is in the color Sand. So I meant to use my Charlotte Tilbury tint corrector that I purchased before I did that, but I can go ahead and use it around my mouth. And I think I'm still going to try to use a little bit under my eyes. I'll just go back and put some more concealer under there. And then for foundation, I'm going to use the Newborn This Way Matte. And I purchased it in the color Praline. So it says 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation. And then it says it has coconut water, which aids in delicately replenishing skin's moisture levels. Alpine rose helps empower skin's health and resilience. And hyaluronic acid gives a smoother, more youthful appearance. It's supposed to be oil free 24 hours matte foundation. Diffuses the lines between makeup and skin. Supposed to be shine free, looks naturally flawless, lightweight wear, coverage undetectable. So yeah, we shall see. And this is how it comes. I'm pretty sure you've seen this already. It has a pump. Shake it up. It's two pumps. Try to cover my little friend up there. Get these ears since this haircut is short. Blend down the neck so we have no lines of demarcation. All right, looks good. I'm gonna go around my eyebrows. Just gonna take a little foundation around the top of my eyebrows. It looks like it's medium coverage. 
because I still have some spots showing through. And then I'm just going to go in with a little bit more concealer. This is the Giorgio Armani. And it's in the color 6.5, just to lighten up my under eyes a little bit more. And I'm just gonna let that sit there a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with some bronzer. And this is the new, well, it's not new, but it's new to me, Charlotte Tilbury. And it's the Airbrush Bronzer. And I purchased it in the color 310. Huge package. It is, how much is in here? 0.56 ounces. So kind of shaped like the powder, the flawless, the airbrush flawless finish powder, but it's way bigger. Oh, mine has a little crack in it. It probably was shipped like that, but I'm just now opening it. So I didn't know. So, oh well. Still usable. Sure you blend this in really, really well. And then I'm just gonna go in under my eyes with the hourglass to set the concealer in place. And then I'm gonna go under my eyes with the Sydney Grace palette again to finish off the under eye. I'm gonna go back in with Flutter By. So that's the under eye. And then I'm going to powder my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finish. Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm gonna use a little bit more bronzer. Just gonna do a little reverse contouring. Let that sit there a minute while I do my nose. I'm just going in with the Pat McGrath Deep. And this is just a blurring under eye powder. It's too deep for me, so I use it to contour my nose. put on some blush. I'm going to use the Patrick Ta. She's so LA. Part of it is a cream and then some of it is a powder. So we shall see how it goes. Okay. Let me try with the, the powder on top. Mm -hmm. I don't like that color. I don't think I'm really feeling that color. For some reason, I think it makes my cheeks look bruised. Yeah. I'm gonna try to go in on top with like a peachy color. I'm gonna try to go on top with this um, KKW Beauty blush and it's in Destiny. Let's see how that does. Mm. I don't like that either. Let's see if I can go around with my foundation to kind of make this blend in a little bit more. And then go back on top with some powder. And I'm going to go back over it with some MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. And this in the color Medium Dark. Maybe a little better. Maybe I had too much on. All right. So now I'm just going to finish up my eyes. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna use this mini Better Than Sex mascara. And then I'm gonna go in and use these Kiss, Kiss Magnetic Lashes. And this is in KMEL02. And then this is just the liner that you use with it. Now I've been using these lashes lately and they've been really good. Sometimes the inner corner does like lift up. 
but for the most part it stays on you have to shake it up really well the only thing I wish is that this came in clear but I don't always want to have a black line And make sure if you are using the magnetic lashes that you don't use a metal applier like metal tweezers or anything because all it does is stick to the tweezers and it takes them back off. This is metal but it has rubber around it. So those are the lashes. And now I'm just gonna coat my bottom lashes with the Lash Accelerator from Rimmel. And so in the inner corner, I'm gonna try to use this Fenty Diamond Balm. It's in how many carats? And I shall see if it sticks in the inner corner or not. Yeah, it's a little glitter. It's a little shiny there. So I think I'm gonna go over that with the Sydney Grace palette again, and I'm gonna use Web. It's like this color here. Yeah, so I think it's pretty. So now the question is, do I use this Diamond Balm as my highlighter? All right, so I'm gonna try to go in with the Diamond Balm as my highlighter. We shall see. Oh, it's glittery. I'm trying to make sure I don't go where my pores are because I don't want any glitter there. So that's that. I don't know if you can see it or not. And then I don't think I'm going to put that on my nose either. I usually put like a little on my nose, but I don't think I'm going to use that. So, I think it's pretty but it's definitely glittery and then lastly for my lips i purchased for the very first time a pat mcgrath perma gel ultra lip pencil and i purchased the color buff so i'm going to try to use that and then i'll just use one of her mini lipsticks that i have already pretty color it matches my eyes so I'm gonna fill in my lips with it. So that's my lips filled in with the Pat McGrath color buff all over. And I'm just gonna go over it with this mini lipstick I have. And it says, Beautiful Stranger. So that's with the lipstick over it. And then of course, I'm gonna add some gloss because I'm a gloss girl. And then I'm just gonna go over it with the Flesh Fantasy Lust Gloss by Pat McGrath. And that's the shine that I love. All right, lovely, so this is the finished look. And okay, just to recap everything, I did use the Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson on my eyes. And it's the Tiny Marbles. This is how it looks on the inside. And I have to say, I love it. It blends out really well. It's not patchy. It has good color payoff. And it showed up really well on my eyes. So I like both looks that I did. I've used Tree Hopper, Flutterby, Metal Hawk. Scarab, and also Death Moth. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I've used six of, three, six, nine, 12, 15, it's 15 colors in here, and I've used six of them. Well, I also use Web, so I use seven. So pretty good show of the palette. And like I said, I enjoy it, I like it. Next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the color Tan. I also enjoyed this. 
mine came chipped but i'm pretty sure it was like shipped that way and i just opened it today so but i really like the color you get a bunch of product in here and the color is more like a warm color so it's not really red it's just like it's warm so i like that type of bronzer not like ready but more just like a warm color so um as far as the diamond balm which is in how many carats i actually like it it doesn't look like it's too much it is glittery so if you don't like glitter you probably don't won't like it but i do like the way it shows up on my skin and it's not falling everywhere it stayed in my inner corners and then around my cheeks so i do like that it's not too much the color corrector in tan from charlotte tilbury i think it did a pretty good job it was easily covered and then i think it did cast out my gray around my mouth so i think it worked the born this way foundation the matte i actually like it it doesn't look extremely matte though it looks more like a natural finish which i like i'm not really into many matte foundations again i am combo and i can get really oily in my t-zone but i would just rather combat that with a matte primer than a matte foundation i think the matte foundations just make my skin look more dry and crepey so I usually like a more um, satin or natural foundation. The matte foundations I do have, I usually mix them with a um, another foundation so it won't look so matte. So this one actually turns out really good. To me, it's it may say matte, but it doesn't make your skin look dry. Next is the Patrick Ta blush. I uh, really wasn't in this color now that I look at it close up it looks better but that's after like buffing it out and putting another color blush on it so I think the blush performs well I just still really like the color that I chose so I might try like one of the peachy colors or one of the pink colors that he has but I think it performed well I just don't like the color so as far as the Pat McGrath liner and buff, I really like the color. It's pretty. I put, you know, lipstick and a lip gloss over it, but I really enjoyed it. It's creamy. It doesn't drag. So um, I like that. And then as far as the Kiss Lashes, like I said, I've really been enjoying those. I've been wearing them for the last three weeks. Majority of the videos that I've you've seen me in with lashes, I've had the Kiss Lashes on. So, like I said, they perform well. You just have to make sure you get a really good coat on there and that it dries well before you try to put them on there. And don't use a metal utensil to put them on there. Make sure it has like some type of rubber or plastic and you should be good. So I think that wraps up all the items that I've recently purchased and that I've used. I will continue to use these items and then if my mind changes about anything that I've used, I'll come back and let you know. But so far, everything worked out pretty well. Like I said, the only thing I didn't really like was the color of the blush. And um, after buffing it and putting another color on top of it, it worked out as well. This look looks really natural. I think it's um, pretty. It's soft. It's like a little glam look. But it's not too much if you wanted to run out and do errands like I would go out with this in the daytime um, and have no problems with this. Just depends on your taste in makeup. So I hope you enjoyed this video on new and products. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. And as always, thank you for spending a part of your day with me. And I hope to see you in my next video.